guy interviewing 5150 the Bob. All right. So this random guy interviewing 5150 the Bob. Lunch break time, babies. El Luncho del Breco. So, Mr. Mr. Bob, can I call you Mr. Bob? Is that cool? I don't think so. It's 5150 the Bob. God damn it, don't you ever forget it. All right, Mr. 5150 the Bob. Fuck the Mr. Part. Hey, fuck you, guy. So, 5150 the Bob, how do you feel about communism? I believe communism in theory is a beautiful thing, but in practicality, it's a bullshit motherfucker. Indeed. How do you feel about ISIS? Oh, I'd love ISIS to come on over here to America and start attacking us, because I got an itchy ass trigger finger right here, motherfuckers. Come on and see me. Indeed. Mr. ISIS people, I hope you hear this. I wish a motherfucker would. I'll rape you with my Desert Eagle 50 cal right up your asshole and then pull the fucking trigger and watch your brains fucking spray everywhere. He will. He's kind of gay like that. With a twisted sense of humor. Indeed. He's the kind of guy that will go in dry and make you bleed and not even give you a reach around. That's right. Because <laughs> the kind of reach around I'll give you is when I'll reach around with my fucking knife and I'll cut your goddamn dick off and then I'll shove it up your own ass. Who will call you double dick? Because you'll I'm have right. two dicks in your ass. I might like that. Can we, can we try that later? Yeah. I'm into that kind of shit. I'll give you my number after the interview. Indeed. Indeed. Last question. So, what do you think about all this Black Lives Matter bullshit? Bunch of ass. Wait, hats. hold on. I'm not done. And they're stomping on the American flag. If I see anybody stop it on the American flag that I got family members that have given their life to, that I've given somewhat of my uh, life to, and that my uncle's currently doing, and you know, I got about three cousins in right now, I will fucking rip your goddamn throat out. And uh, I think this whole Black Lives Matter is a bunch of fucking ghetto ass bullshit, because all lives matter, and half the time, whenever this fucking stupid shit happens, it's always because of stupid shit. But, uh, you know, I do believe there are some bad cops out there. And there are some good cops out there, but there's a lot more good cops than bad cops. And uh, if y'all stop breaking the law, you wouldn't have to worry about Black Lives Matter. Because all lives matter in my book. Matter of fact, life is a beautiful thing. And death is just the beginning. All right, well, one more question, oh, Mr. 5150 The Bob. So the other week... A suspect was shot and killed by Oakland Police Department for hijacking a fucking car while he was armed and then crashed it, got out of the car, and started to try to shoot at the police, and the police fucking smoked his black ass. And then, the Oakland black people rioted. What do you think of that? What do I think of that? Well, honestly... As a civilian, if I'd have been driving by and seen some fucking ho-dunk motherfucker trying to shoot the police, and I had my firearms on me, I'd turn around and return fire on that motherfucker. That's what I feel about it. Shouldn't have been stealing cars and trying to shoot the police. Because that's what happens. They will smoke your ass. Like a new pope, motherfucker! Straight up, like this fucking shit right here. Imagine this being your asshole when you try to shoot at the police. They're going to turn around and they're going to light and smoke your ass up. Word to your ass mother. Hat. Ass hat. Ass hat. <laughs> and with that, we conclude this hold interview. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Oh. Oh fuck, I think I just shit myself.